Here's a question you probably don't hear every day. What would it take for you to run in your underwear? Yeah, your skivvies. Well, the Colon Cancer Alliance annual undie run walk is coming up, and they want you to do just that to strip down, raise some money, and raise awareness. We have Don Gagliardi, a stage four colon cancer survivor who has participated in this event five times. This is gonna be your sixth time. Sure is. And this is a big event, very exciting. It's very visual, <laughs> it's very different and cool, but it's all about raising money, raising awareness. Tell us a little bit about the Undie Run Walk. Okay, so the Undie Run Walk is a 5K uh, basic run. There also is a 1K event for family. You can bring strollers, you can bring pets, anything. It's a great family event. Uh, again, fun because people dress in their underwear or costumes or anything just to bring attention to that area and colon cancer awareness because it's not a fun cancer to talk about. Not that any cancer is fun, right. but this one especially is a little bit difficult for people to be comfortable with. And I think a lot of people don't realize how common I, maybe it's because of that, because people don't talk about it. Exactly. But this is very common. It sure is. Colon cancer is the second leading cancer killer in the United States, and I think it's the third most diagnosed among men and women. Yeah, so this is a big deal to bring awareness, raise some money. So money raised at the event goes towards... Colon Cancer Alliance, who is the largest national advocate for colon cancer and awareness. And this is a fun event. Obviously, people get dressed up. Even dogs can go. Absolutely. So you don't have to be a marathon runner no. or an athlete to go participate absolutely not so who do you encourage just anybody 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 and everybody it's again just a fun day for the family it's October it's perfect weather for running or walking and um, this year it's at John Howell Park so it's a new location this year it should be fun and a little bit about you you're a stage 4 colon cancer survivor tell us a little bit about that so I am a little bit of an odd case I was diagnosed when I was 31 which is actually 13 years ago uh, had some symptoms that were treated for irritable bowel syndrome like any young girl would probably right. be diagnosed with these types of symptoms eventually it was found that I had colon cancer and shortly thereafter it was metastasized to my liver so it's been a long road for me but I am very healthy cancer free for over 12 years wow. now and that's why I just get out there and support it whenever I can and try to make a difference and get yeah. people involved congratulations thank I mean, that's you amazing I can't even imagine at the age of 31 you, it's scary. It, it's very, very scary, and I think that's why this run is so important, because this can affect young people, yes, too. Yes, it's not just an old man's disease anymore. That's what everyone thinks of, 50 years old and older, but you would be surprised at the number of people under 50 being diagnosed today. Unfortunately, I think that's a growing number. Yeah, unfortunately. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank we'll you let for everyone having know. me. Oh, the deadline to register early is in about 10 days, right? Yes. It's next week. So yes. that's what we want everyone to do. Go register. The actual event is in October, but you have about 10 days to get a reduced fee there to enter the 2015 Undie Run Walk. It's October 24th at John Howell Park in Atlanta. You do need to register now, though. That early bird registration expires August 28th to register Make sure you log on to undyrunwalk.org and you're going to find much more information there.